No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything! And we're back. And today we're going to be looking at Bludgeon. Because I didn't really have much connection to the character Tarn. So I decided to just skip that figure. Plus I never found it. But I did find Bludgeon, so um, this is a version of the mold that I'm actually looking forward to because even though I don't really know anything about this character, I think this character is a much cooler use of this mold than um, than Tarn is. Um, but I don't know. I, I really like it, so uh, let's just go ahead and get him out of the packaging. Grab one of our trusty knives for the occasion because finally got my, my box all organized. All right. Gonna carefully cut that cellar tape because I've had this figure for a few days now, but I haven't taken the time to really look at them yet. So I figured I'd at least film the unboxing first, um, since I got nothing else going on at the time. And I'm already getting frustrated, so let's just get that out of the way. Nice. All right. Nothing in there. Just instructions, which to me are useless. Uh, oh, here's the weapons. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Good thing I got my trusty knife for this. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Come on. That looks like I'm on packaging drugs or something. Yeah, toy collector gets arrested because they accidentally bought a figure full of cocaine. Ridiculous. Um, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, they got a bunch of weapons. Oh, this is kind of cool. And that's stuck on my hand. Alright, so that's, that's standard. He's got his sword, which, nice. What else is there? I have no clue what this is. And two cannons. Alright, oh wait, these are probably the base for the cannons. So I'm going to go and put those there. Okay, we are back and we're looking at the tank mode now. The tank mode, I'm going to be honest, is pretty good. I actually really like it. Only downside is, it has molded wheels, but they don't roll. They're just there, I guess, just to kind of, so it doesn't sit flat, which I don't mind, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Um, the sword just does just mount to the side like that. Uh, you could remove the turret if you want to. Um, just clips on to the back like that. So, um, here's just the bare bones tank, which, I mean, it's still got these dual, what I'm going to assume are 50 cals, so, I mean... Still pretty decently armed, and then you got this big plow in the front to just ram things and just destroy them with all obliteration. So, um, yeah, really not much else to say. I'm not much of a tank expert, so, uh, I mean, it's about the size of a cheeseburger, so, uh, let's just get to transformation. Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, the back legs, and we are going to unclip those from the front. And we are going to fold, actually no, we need to unclip these, fold those out, fold those in, fold those in, bam, done. And go ahead and fold these panels forward. There you go. So you got one arm done. Go ahead and do the same for the other side. If I can get it to unclip, there we go. Fold this forward, fold that in, that piece is surprisingly tight for some reason, we'll have to come back to that. Go ahead and fold in this panel. Now, um, that's really bothering me now. Alright, next we're going to fold the head forward, here, bring this up first. Fold the head forward while moving this at the same time. Go ahead and fold these up like that. Kind of want to be careful with the head because the, the new head sculpt does kind of get in the way a little bit. Uh, go ahead and fold these forward. Alright, then you will collapse them in like this. Fold that chest piece down. Go ahead and pull the head out. I'm trying to be really careful not to chip anything or break anything. Get those guns out of the way. Let's look at, okay, there we go. Got it out. Alright, go ahead and fold that forward. Fold these back down like this. Go ahead and clip the legs down. It will also clip in with a tab that is somewhere in there, I think. Or is it just friction holding that in? Well, let's see. 
Oh, it looks like it's just friction, but it does click, so we're going to assume there's something in there. Straighten the feet out. Uh, for the backpack, just go ahead and collapse that back forward. Actually, you may want to rotate it upwards. There you go. That stupid shoulder still... There we go. Got it. Okay. Got it to plug in. Nice. Uh, for the tank turret, I guess you can just put that on like that. And here he is in robot mode. I think he looks really good. That's why I skipped on the Tarn version and decided to wait for Bludgeon because he looks really good. He's also really tall, so apologies if I'm having trouble getting him all on camera. Let's give him his sword too. Actually, I guess if you wanted to, you could plug it in like that and do that kind of sword, but nah, we want the, the old school samurai style sword. But yeah, overall, he's a great figure. I really like him. So if you do see him, go ahead and pick him up. But until next time, you all have a good one. Soul saved!